In this episode, I'm going to look at the LG G3 screen flicker problem, which is caused by the SOC processor not cooling properly. Let's take a look at this little piece of junk. I've got an LG G3 phone here that's got the uh, screen flicker problem. I think we'll just take a look and see if we can uh, get this thing to work. I've done a bit of reading on it and it appears to be that there's a connector that it comes loose in here. So I'm going to start by removing all the screws to open the set up. So this is a very common problem on this particular set and what causes the problem from everything that I've researched on this is that there is a small space between the SOC or the system on chip processor and its heatsink and it can overheat and when it overheats it can actually fracture the BGA solder connections between the board and the chip itself. So what I'm going to do is when I get this thing apart I'm going to uh, put my heat gun on and we're going to uh, heat the chip up and try to reflow the solder. I'm then going to put some heat sink compound on the chip and we're going to uh, do the little mod that you Google and it says stick up some folded paper or, or on one of the connectors, which what that does is that presses on the connector to put more tension. We're going to do that one too. Okay, once all the screws are removed, lift the back off the set. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop open these connectors and actually remove the board so that we can uh, do the work under the board because the, the SOC is actually on the other side of the board. So from what I understand, that what the problem is that happens on these chip, uh, units is that the graphics chip and your, your system on chip, your main processor, are sandwiched together. And there's a bit of a, a gap between the um, uh, heat sink and the chip, which causes the chip to overheat. So the solution that I've been reading about is that we, we're going to put some heat sink compound, some silicon heat transfer compound. Now initially I was just going to do that by itself, but I decided that I was going to get my heat gun out and we're going to actually heat the chip up and reflow it. And then I'll put the heat sink compound up. Just going to heat the chip up and see if we can reflow it. Just cook this for 15 seconds or so and get it good and hot. Okay, we're going to put some heat transfer compound on the uh, the chip now so that it will remain cool because there's a there's a bit of space between the uh, the back and the chip itself so we want to fill that uh, A little gap.
So we're going to put a little piece of paper in the back here to uh, hold the, the uh, pressure on the board so that it stays cool. So we're going to put a little piece of paper on top of this connector which is going to squeeze the connector once the, the back is on. And just want to make sure it's not too thick. But thick enough that it will add enough tension to hold the board in place or hold this connector in place once the back is snapped on. Okay, I think I've got all the screws in. Put the battery in this thing and see whether this thing will turn on. I would say that that is affirmative. No more screen flicker. There we go. Phone is booted up. Got an LG G3 that's got the screen flicker problem. Try that. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.